Hey everyone, the Flying Hologer here, and today we're going to be reviewing the special collector's box of Hiberne Renmei. Now, this is a UK version as it has the, the age rating on here. It's also a genuine release, which is really good as genuine releases go for quite quite a bit of money, seeing as that company no longer exists anymore. I think they're also called Pioneer, but... I've got a Pioneer Chobits release, and uh, soon I'll be getting an X anime Pioneer release, but all in good time, I'll, I'll show you those releases in good time. But my Hibernate Renmei is very similar to the American one. So the American one is a picture right here. The American one looks identical to this one, but it's a Region 1 version, so... The actual ones will look like this. Except they won't have the age ratings and the PG ratings and the 12s. It will just look like this somehow. You know, like this in a way. And uh, it will just say Region 1 in the back. Pretty much everything will probably be identical. But it will just say Region 1. So just take it out a little bit. Instead of having the... Does it say Region 2? No, it doesn't even... Yeah, there it does. Yeah, right in front of my eyes. It'll just say Region 1. I think everything will be quite similar. But, yeah. So now I'm going to tell you the differences between our versions and the American versions. So, like before, the Americans have two versions. They have this version, as you can tell, very similar. And then they have this version right here. I'm not sure why they have two different versions, but the second version, like I just showed you, it, it looks a lot better than this, put it this way. It has the characters on it. I can't remember the, the two girls' names. I forget about the rest of the characters. Uh, is she Reki or Raka? So, in a long... An honor, or Raka becomes the newest hibernate. So, yeah, Raka is this girl here. The main protagonist. And this is Reki. So, I think you have, like, Raka and Reki on the front cover of the box. And then you've got like, little different things at the angles. But I looked on Amazon and that version is currently unavailable. I've looked on eBay. It doesn't even exist on eBay. So, it's like a little rare American version you can probably get from an American DVD store or whatever, but I'm never, ever, ever likely to get it, so nothing I can really do about that. But, uh, yeah, the Americans, like I said, have this version, and then they have another version. God knows why they have two different versions, but that's America for you. They, they like experimenting, they like getting as many versions as they possibly can. Uh, whereas here in England, we get like a fat plastic box version and we, if we're rare, you know, if we're lucky, we get like a collector's box, which isn't very likely and we don't get it on many occasions. But even if we get collector's box nowadays, yeah, they're going to cost a bomb. But let's look what it looks like inside. So this is the first volume. Now, like I said, the Americans have leaflets, so don't know what that is, stupid thing. I hate these because they're just pointless, really. Name, phone, address, which DVD did you buy, where did you buy this DVD, free £10 worth of vouchers. These are really old, you know? Really old, worthless, don't mean much anymore because you can't really, you can't really do that anymore. But, uh, yeah, this is part one. Like I said, the Americans will have like a leaflet which will say episodes one to four, tell you what the names of the episodes are and, you know, little features and stuff on the leaflet. And yeah, we don't get that. The only thing I have similar to that is my Neon Genesis parts collection because there's a perfect, there's a, uh, what's the other one, platinum, but yeah, they're too expensive. And the UK uh, perfect, uh, collection well it didn't have like loads of dvds it just had like two parts in the box but 
We're not going to get into any in Genesis right now. No, I was just, you know, using that as an example as the Neon Genesis collection have lease splits where not many box set collector's editions we get in the UK have leaflets, so that sucks. Whereas the Americans always do. But, uh, yeah, that's part one. This is... Oh, God's sake. I always get his Part two. There we go. And inside, yeah, no leaflet, but that's what it looks like. Pretty much identical to the front cover. This is free. The DVD will look identical. I'm not sure if they have leaflets with them. Like, I'm the only person who's really reviewing the UK version of this because there are not many people in the UK that buy collector's boxes. Not that I know of and review on YouTube because I'm, like, probably the only anime UK YouTube anime DVD reviewer on YouTube that does this. There are a few others, but... Yeah, I did text and lies, and uh, no one else did it apart from American guy. Uh, I've done my uh, Cho bits. Well, that's an American release, so I don't think that would count. But uh, I did a Tokyo Ghoul collector's box, which I think I was probably one of the first to do that. You know, apart from any American, Amer you know, American DVD reviewers of anime doing that as well. But I'm rambling on. I'm one of the few UK anime fans that collect DVDs, put it that way. So, yeah. No leaflet in here. And then this is the final one, part four. No leaflet, just same as that. You know, same old case, really. Big letdown for us in the UK. Because... The DVDs look like the cases. We don't get uh, leaflets and we don't get, you know, good stuff like the Americans do. Just put that in there. Two. One. So the only good thing about this is the box, because it's a collector's box. That's the only reason I collect these, really, for their boxes. But that's the side. That's what the back looks like. Tells you nothing about the anime, which is annoying. The only thing that tells you about the anime is the little bits at the back. But uh, Americans, like I said, have leaflets which tell you that as well. But yeah, this is my Hibernate Renme collector's box. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you're from the UK and hope, you know, hoping to get this, get your hands on it because you don't want the other version which looks like that, which lets you open it up. It'll have, like, disc here, disc here. And you turn it over, it'll have two more discs, you know. It won't have the collector's box. It'll just have some stupid, ribbon plastic slim case. But, yeah. So, for those of you in America, we got the same Reese as you. But not as good. And for those of you in the UK who are looking to get this, here it is. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. The Flying Halucha, I'm out.